so I asked Spike if he could say publicly that he fully supported the decriminalization of sex work and if he was willing to put in the work to help us get there. Absolutely, and we've already started doing that. To anyone who will ask or who asks or who will listen, we say we support the full decriminalization or if you prefer it legalization without regulation of consensual sex work between adults there is no reason that the government should be telling people what they can or cannot do with their bodies whether or not money is involved in it and not only that by putting sex work in the black market it leads to all of the abuses there we take it out of the black market and people who see abuses are able to more easily get help without risking going to prison for it and it allows law enforcement to focus on crimes with actual victims like sex trafficking like child abuse like pedophilia and so forth. So yes, we support 100% decriminalization, full legalization without regulation, whatever you want to call it, of sex work. And we have been working on uh, telling people that at every possible point that we can. Absolutely. So I am an ambassador for the local chapter of the Sex Workers Outreach Project. We're a nonprofit grassroots organization dedicated to the fundamental human rights of people involved in the sex trade. So decriminalization is one of our biggest aims right now. Swap Seattle is unique in that we focus on not just anti-trafficking work, but also helping sex workers do the work that they choose to do. And a big part of libertarian ethics is supporting people and sex work in a, is existing at the intersection of bodily autonomy and economic freedom. Without acknowledging people's self-ownership, you have no libertarianism, and that's a big part of sex work. Whether or not you throw your hat in the ring, it impacts you. Not directly all of the time, but in a lot of ways it does. When SESTA FOSTA passed, that was supposed to be targeting human trafficking. The actual targets were sex workers, but the people impacted were everybody that's using the internet for any type of communication. So it impacts you one way or another. You can get in the fight or you can try and stay out of it. They won't let you. made sex work a lot more dangerous. It took away the social safety nets of people being able to communicate. Some of that was just the way that people were finding clientele. A lot of the online work ended up moving to street work where people don't have the ability to vet their clientele. We saw increases in violence nearly nationwide and several cities reported uh, that women uh, outside of sex work were also ended up being impacted. Sex workers are a part of your community, whether or not you see them or not. The people that you're most likely to see if you're outside of the community are the people that are doing street work, that are engaged in areas that are more dangerous. Having them have other recourses makes their lives safer. It keeps them out of the public view where they may be exposed to a lot more danger. Um, a lot of the regulations seep into other areas. Sex work is not one thing, it's many things, it's cam girls, it's a lot of online work, it's professional dominatrixes, it's the people working in our bikini barista stands and in our strip clubs that are overburdened with government regulations that are making their jobs more costly and more dangerous.